Hello again everyone. The drag and drop method is a visual approach designed to simplify complex equations much simple way. Let's uh, simplify this given equation by using this drag and drop method. So the traditional way of doing things in our classroom is this one. I have already put it down on the right hand side as you can see that one over there. Now we want to use this drag and drop method. So drag and drop method is we want to solve this equation by just using this method. So what we want to do is I want you to move x's on the one side and these constant on other side. So I'm going to move this negative 2x on the left hand side. So I'm going to drag and move on the left hand side. So make sure, okay, and I want to move this positive 4 on the right hand side. So always remember, okay, this is what we will be doing, okay. So 3x is already there. You just leave it there. And when you move this negative 2x on the other side of this equation, you must change the sign. Negative become positive and positive become negative. So that's going to become positive 2x equals to, we already have a 9 over here. We did not circle that one. Now we're going to move this positive 4. When you move it on the right hand side, when you drag it, that's going to become negative 4. Now that's it. 3x plus 2x, these are like terms, become 5x equals to uh, 9, take away 4 is 5. Now I want you to just simplify both sides by dividing by 5. So simplify, so x turns out to be what? 1. That is our solution. Let's do this uh, example. Uh, we're going to solve this equation by using this drag and drop method. Once again, I want to make sure that x is should be on the left hand side, isn't it? So this, when you drag this positive 2x, when you move it on the left hand side, this is supposed to become negative 2x. And I want to move this negative 7 on the other side. So whatever we, I have circled that thing, that's going to move, going to get moved. So this is what happens now. This simply, so positive 4 stays there. And when you move this positive 2x become negative 2x. You can just, just change the sign. And on the right hand side, we already have negative 1. When you move this negative 7 on the other side become what? Positive 7. That's pretty much it. So 4x take away 2x is going to be a 2x equal to... 6, I want you to divide both sides by 2, so x turns out to be what? 3. In this final example, we are asked to convert this equation into a slope-intercept form. That What that means is we want to put in a y equal to mx plus b form. So what we're going to do is, first of all, I want to move all y's on the left hand side. This negative 2y should go on the left hand side and all these x's and constant they're going to move on the what? Right hand side. So let's go ahead and figure it out. So what we have right now, so this 3y is not going to move this is going to stay because we did not circle it so now you see this on the right hand side you see this negative 2y when you move it on the left hand side become what positive 2y equals to let's put it down everything whatever we have on this side 5x plus 13 and when you move this positive x on the right hand side become negative x and then what else and then this negative 7 becomes what? Positive 7 when you move it on this side. So that's pretty much it. 3y plus 2y is what? 5y equal to, now let's combine the like terms. See right now, 5x minus x becomes 4x. 
and 13 plus 7 is about plus 20. Now I want you to divide across the board by what? 5 because we want to isolate y divided by 5 divided by what? 5. This 5 cancels out so what we got? y equals to what? 4 over 5 times x plus 4 and that is your final answer. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.